Hi everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Deadpool. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. All right, so I'm going for a big jumping, flying through the air pose. Um, you know, I kind of see him as, you know, fighting action and whatnot. And, and I, I'm not going to lie, I'm not the biggest Deadpool fan. Like, I, I didn't read the comics. Uh, so I'm not going to jump on the Deadpool bandwagon of, you know, uh, I know this and I know that. And I, you know, I don't. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. But um, uh, I, I like the funness. Does that make sense? Is that a word? The fun ability, the funility of the character. So I'm trying to go for like an action jumping in the air uh, kind of pose, you know? So whether you're here for the Fortnite or the uh, comic book version or the movie version, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm going to do something like that. So. That being said, I'm kind of going for sword wielding uh, Deadpool. Jeez, I forgot his name. Sword wielding Deadpool because I don't really do a lot of guns. Uh, it's I know it's silly, but I don't know. I just kind of think uh, drawing more guns kind of promotes violence, and eventually I'm going to have to stop that. I'm going to have to give in a little bit, you know. But not. I don't have to today. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I have options, so uh, I can get away with not doing it for today. And I'm drawing his arm really long. I'm trying to correct it as I'm going, but I'm drawing his arm super long. But also, this is why you sketch. You gotta make sure that your, your uh, parts all work right and fit together. And, uh, And that's why you sketch before you get started with the drawing. There we go. So uh, what I was trying to say is, I'm uh, I'm going for the sword wielding version. And uh, because he's got some on his back, uh, I think it's it's kind of fun to to play around with that instead of guns. Um, uh, but I still like the the X that it forms on his back, so I still need to draw the sheaths. Well, I don't have to, but it's a good excuse for me to draw those sheaths that are still floating on his back. And I guess you can't really see that one as much because I just like uh, the the uh, the look of it. We'll draw it back here. That'll that'll uh, make up for it a little bit better. Because that's the one thing I really like. I mean, I like the way they stick out, but obviously if he's holding them, they're not sticking out, so I can't do that. But I can... Uh, draw them, you know, if he's holding up, I can draw the sheaths. Okay, I think that works for his shape. Let me draw in his legs. And again, I'm going super long for some reason. I gotta tone it back just a little bit. I don't know, I guess there's something about this this pose that screams uh, yeah, super long, super big. And let's see, let's do that foot just kind of up in the air. What do his feet look like? With, okay, got it, got it, got it. Um, and let's do this one kind of back because he's kind of kind of jumping and I'm not going to do I always talk about this don't do the the foot all the way up to the butt uh, pose everybody does that everybody and I used to as well you know it's just uh, out of habit something dynamic about 
you know, putting the foot all the way up to the butt, but it doesn't work that way. Your body doesn't, I mean, unless you're sitting on your foot, your body doesn't bend that way. So I'm trying to do more of a realistic version, you know? Realistic version of a comic book superhero. <laughs> I know it sounds silly. I know it doesn't make any sense, you know? Um, that's like saying a realistic version of a Martian. Well, you know, you don't can't really say that that exists yet. You know what I mean? So, um, it's kind of silly to say, but I'm trying to stick to my guns. All right, and so I can draw his guns at least on his uh, on his uh, character. And so, also the other thing is, I guess I need to hurry up with this because. I forgot there is a lot of detail in uh, in this character, and uh, I need to to work on it to get it right. And you know what else I need to do? I need to get his little straps in here done. So this one might go a little long, you know, hopefully not, hopefully I can, I can uh, wrangle it in. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of sketching in this one, or a lot of detail, I guess. Um, let's see, what else can I talk about? I guess, um, I guess one thing we're gonna get a little bit of, oops, drop the paper, a little bit of uh, relief on is that there's no detail in the face, right? So that's gonna be a little easier. Okay, and so let's see for the hands. Let me look at. So I'm drawing like like a hand, like holding. So I just it's good to look at reference, you know. Don't ever feel bad that oh well I should be able to draw by hand. You should, but you know we all have to draw and look at reference to make sure we're drawing correctly. It doesn't hurt to. Uh, to brush up on on what's real because I could think something looks right but you know what looks right the, the actual thing so don't ever feel bad of having to check uh, details it helps really and we're just gonna do a straight edged uh, what do you call it uh, oh you know what let's see let's see how I can do this Oh, I want to, I need to, there we go. So if I'm gonna do that, I've gotta change the angle of the, there we go, I can still keep the hand that position, but I wanna change it to a 90 degree, 90 degree, uh, what do you call it? What's the, the pommel, the handle, the guard, the hilt? 90 degree hilt. And to do that, since I've already got the hand at a certain angle, I'm not gonna go back and change it. I'm just going to extend it out. And that will help me uh, place it like that. So I think I'm ready. Let me just look it over again real fast. Um, yeah, I think I'm ready. I'm gonna erase some of these lines and I can get started with the, uh, with the Sharpie. I'm gonna welcome everybody that skipped. But uh, I don't need all these sketch lines. I just need the last final confident lines. And that'll get us going. If you're working with pencil, you just draw darker. You keep going. I just don't want the pencils to stand out on mine since I'm going with Sharpies. And I'm erasing the, the, the mess of sketch. All 
right. Okay, I think that's enough. I can see where I'm going. And I'm gonna welcome everybody. So, welcome skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find the things that a fine point can't quite find. So, I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the lighter lines and I left just a little faint ghost of an image to trace over. And I'm gonna get started with the, um, let's do the big Sharpie and then go in with the finer detail for the Sharpie pen. I can control line widths much better with this. But I'm gonna use this to guide me into the entire thing. So I'm gonna start off with the head. I'm just gonna trace around it and then come back in with the detail because uh, I, I'm just following my sketch. I'm not drawing just blindly or willy nilly. It's all planned, so I can see where I was going to go and where it's going to take me. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with his chin and just work up like this to his head. Pull that little bit of the, the point on his head uh, for the mask. I'm going to come down, do a little bit of an ear, come back in. And then his neck's going to be like this. I'm going to go ahead and draw the bottom of it and then flow into the rest of the face here. So, here's his chin coming up to his head like that. A little bumpy, but I'm about to fix that with the other Sharpie anyway, so I'm okay with that. Okay, so let's come back and add a little bit of detail with this. So, because uh, there's no details in the face, let me fix this real fast. I'll use that to my advantage. Uh, because there's no details in the face, I wasn't too worried about, because usually I draw the eyes, make sure I get it all right. This time I don't have to worry about that. Um, draw that little uh, like droopy sock point on his head right there. Um, now I could just pretty much just come in here and draw where the eyes are going to be. Like that. And then draw his, uh, um, I guess the, the black sockets. Is that what we're going to call them? This one's going around the side of his head. You can't really see it as much. And then this one, we're going to put like this. And I also, I want to do it with this lighter Sharpie or the smaller Sharpie to just kind of accent or complement the thick and thin uh, lines of it. And then we'll kind of do the little seam like that. And that's really about it. Uh, like the nose, I want to do all that with color. Um, so I'll just do like a little bit of bend for like where his material's all creased in because his neck's kind of pushed in. So that's creasing up all the material here on his uh, suit, okay? Um, we'll go ahead and just draw a little seam right here just to show where that is. Again, just to accent and highlight that it's a seam and not so much a uh, edge so we're going back here with the big sharpie so um if you weren't here for the sketch i'm just going to kind of explain a little bit to him he's jumping through the air and i've got him holding swords instead of guns so uh i'm still drawing the sheaths on the back of his um back just to kind of show i like that look of that x on his back it's, it's a really nice look with those swords but since they're pulled out i can't really do that and i still want to highlight it so i'm still putting them in there as far as um uh, placement, but um, he's holding the swords. So we're gonna draw this arm over here and it's raised up So this shoulders up a little bit and there's his bicep is right there. So there's his shoulder and he's got that uh, back strap that we're gonna add in right here But it's bent up because of the angle that his shoulder is raised up and uh, We're just gonna add the strap and it's coming around this side right here and um, that'll kind of guide us as to where we're gonna be um, with the um, design so that means his rib cage I'll go ahead and start over here as you can see where he's stretched out um, his rib cage is gonna be straight up like this this one's kind of bent because he's stretched out and that's gonna put his arm like this um, let's see, let's do the inside like that. And then, like I said, his biceps right here. You come in, here's his forearm going up to his little uh, um, 
bracelet, I guess. There's really no, no, no tech name for it. It's basically, it's all it is, just a bracelet. Um, and so I'm gonna add some extra detail. Since all that's closed off before I get to the hand, I'm gonna add some extra detail uh, with this small Sharpie. So he's got a, a, a seam in his um, outfit right there. He's got a, <laughs> a strongman bicep arm band. There's no, I'm just gonna call it out. I'm gonna call him for what he is. There's no reason for this little bicep besides to show off muscles. That's really it. You know, there's no, uh, um, it's not tech. Same thing as his bracelet. It's not a, it's not a tech piece. It's not uh, um, uh, by design. It's just to show off that you got muscles. That's all it is. And you know what? Hey, he's got them. Show them off, right? Okay, so um, there, I just wanted to add a little bit of cloth um, seams or uh, uh, material bends is what I like to call them. Uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, creases and folds, that's what I call them. All right. Okay, so now let me get back to the big Sharpie. I always, I always get distracted with the smaller Sharpie because I want to draw in some fun detail. Um, here I got his hand uh, holding the the um, the sword, but it's kind of up like that because it's not completely around. He's got it up a little bit, so this pinky is going to be up a little bit higher, just because of the angle I have the sword at. I'm kind of I'm kind of building for where it's placed. So I'm going to draw his 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 wrist up here to his thumb. Let's see. I'm trying to look at my sketch. Thumb like this, and so there's his hand going up, and maybe I should draw the sword. No, 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 no. I'm gonna draw the finger so I can keep where I'm going with my placement. So I'm gonna draw one finger in like this underneath because it's like under that part, and then uh, the other fingers, and I'll come back with detail in a second here. So see how they're going up higher. So this one's a little bit higher uh, up on the blade because of the angle that I have the the sword at. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure, yeah, make sure that I have it the way I want it. Um, and I'm just gonna freehand it. So I'm gonna put the, 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 the hilt right there. And let's just go ahead and, nah, let's do it with the hand. Let's go ahead and do it with the, the, the make sure I got it straight across the uh, straight edge ruler woof man I'm just losing words so I'm gonna draw one point here then I'm gonna pick it up and connect right there come back out make it a really long handle looks good to me and this side I'm gonna make it a little bit longer so I can like make that connection right there you know make that sword look to it and I'm just eyeballing the other side. Like how far away it is and and if it's straight across. So don't stress out if it's if yours isn't perfect either, you know? I just kind of wanted to do that. I guess I'll go ahead and connect it with this. There we go. That'll give us the edge there. So there. And, and so now I'm gonna extend the fingers out like that and I'm gonna add some extra detail with this Sharpie and just kind of clean it up. All right, there we go. Okay. Um, let's see. So we should do. Let's let's go ahead and, and define that it's a handle by adding that. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna add the the back of the sword in a second, the sheaths in a second. I just wanted to get everything defined, and then I can draw where they are. So we're gonna do this shoulder over here too. So same thing. It's got that strap going across, but. It's at a different angle, so you don't really see as much. And I've got this side kind of all crunched in because of the way he's uh, um, twisting his body. 
So I'm going to draw his pecs, his rib cage, and bent over like that. So see how this one's crunched in, this one's extended out? That's the whole look we're going for. Um, let me draw his detail real fast of his outfit, because he's got a very certain look to it. And uh, it's going to be taken care of with color, but I did want to at least acknowledge that it's there. Give you something cool to draw. And so the, see there, I'm also taking care of the fact that there's bends. So I'm giving you a, um, what do you call it? details that his his body is 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 bent up right here all right okay and that's where his belt's gonna be I knew where to stop so that's why that's that's right there so same thing we're just gonna draw this arm out and it's just like we did there it's just gonna be anatomy basically so the shoulder to his bicep his bicep to the crook of his arm here's to his elbow and then uh, to his wrist. So same thing, we're gonna draw the little bracelet he's got. Like that. And this hand is bent down because it's holding the sword, so I'm gonna draw the thumb. And then this sword is just kind of, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and draw this edge at least, and that'll help guide us to which way it's gonna go. back there like that there we go so that gives us that edge and we can build the fingers around it okay um i guess we can do the the hilt like we did over there and well, i guess i could have extended that uh so yeah so i'm going to draw one finger underneath this one and the middle finger around ring finger and then same thing the pinky is just kind of floating from the way it is and here we go with this edge. And again, see, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm just gonna guess at to making it parallel. And if it's okay, if it doesn't come out perfect. All right, let's just extend this out. And it's not quite as long as that one, but that's okay. No one's really going to come back and look at it and say, hey, you didn't draw this one as much as this one, and that's there, and that's this. Eh, it's okay. No big deal. I'm just having fun. Okay, so I'm going to add some some details there. going to add the lines and the hilt like we did over there on the other one. And remember, you don't have to draw every single detail like I'm doing. You draw what you want. This is, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. We're gonna meet somewhere in between. I'm gonna draw his bicep uh, enhancer. And let's see, his costume is kind of going back like that. As far as the color and the design. Again, you know I like to draw my my creases and folds so I'm just gonna kind of do something like that just kind of show that there's wear and tear on the suit or or bends in it basically and move on so here we go let's move on to his belt now his belt he's got a whole bunch of packs and and patches and things and stuff and we're just gonna draw the center belt the centerpiece like that and I'm gonna do that that with the color the 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 face inside there I'm gonna do it with color because I think it would stand out much better and uh, and just build off of this okay so I'm gonna draw his belt and I'm gonna start to draw some of those packs that he's got and there's another level to it like that there's another one back here There's more over here, but these are bent because of the way his body is bent. So I'm going to do something like this. And that'll kind of show him off 
bent with his body. Okay, and there's there's a couple of different layers of belts. So we'll just do something like this. That will help us, you know, add add extra stuff there. So um, now we pretty much just have to draw his uh, um, legs with um, what do you call? Them? Wow, I just don't have words today. I really don't. Uh, with his uh, guns and his holsters. Wow, I just I don't know. Something is off today. I think it's just too early in the morning. I need some breakfast. I'm ready to go outside and play. But I'm going to finish this up and we can have some fun here. All right, so I'm going to draw his leg and uh, leave a little bit of room for his holsters. But we can't quite see his guns because of the way it goes across. Uh, or because of the angle that it's at. But uh, I'm leaving room for the extra packs and stuff that he's got because they did uh, super mega packs on this guy. He's got extra pouches and and straps and uh, pouches. Yeah, I guess that's just all I can really say. They just put a lot of straps and pouches on this guy. So his gun's in there, but you can't really see it. I'll add some extra detail in a second. Let's just go ahead and extend this leg out. So um, I gotta put his crotch right about there, and then I'll add some detail in a second, but I want to do that so I can give me a start point for his leg from here. Let's see in his knee, got a little bit of a raised uh, knee pad there, coming down to his his uh, leg to the end of his pants. I'm gonna come back in this way, and there's to that part. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up his boot. He's got a little extender right there. I'm just got his foot pointed up. I'm going to add a tread in a second. Like that. Okay, so let me add some extra detail. And then we'll do the other leg. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish off this foot. Don't need to worry about too much there because it's pretty much going to be colored in black. Just wanted to add some extra lines for creases and folds. I want to accent his knee pad right here. And let's see how they have it. So it's coming in. I'm going to do that. Come up to the side here. Come in like that. That's going to be all black. Um, let's see, so, I got his pants all stretched out right here, so I can add some creases and folds to where his pants are being bent, let's, uh, oh, let's add a little extra detail just here, just to kind of show that there's something there, let's see his packs there, just to give it some, some, something extra, you know. Same thing with this gun. There's not a lot of detail we can put in there. Just gonna clean that up. Add a little extra there. Where we can. All right, so let's do the other leg. And the other one looks bent under, and I talk about this in the uh, in the sketch that don't do the leg all the way up to the butt, like the knee, so all you see is like a stump. You know, it looks cool, and even I used to do that too, but uh, it's anatomy. We don't really bend that way unless you're sitting on your leg and showing the rest of it, 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 it makes more sense and it looks better. So just get in the habit of actually drawing the stuff out, you know? Uh, so same thing, we're gonna draw a little gun holster over here. Again, you can't really see his gun because it's the side view, but we can kind of do something like that at least to show that it's in there. And so same thing, we're gonna draw the strap holding it onto his leg. And that's all on this one. So we can do his other leg over here. And again, I'm gonna add some creases and folds in a second. This one's bent in. Here's his knee. 
like that. Now, a lot of people stop there and just show that it's like way bent and so the foot's back here. Let's not do that. Let's, let's take it further and finish it up and show it's down here and it gives it a little bit more detail, a little bit more uh, style, you know? Because this is all you got to do. It doesn't take much to actually draw the other leg under there and it's, you know, real, complete. Oh, you know what, let me draw the little foot piece that goes over it like that. And let me add some extra detail with this Sharpie. All right, so again, you know I like to add my creases and folds. And see, the knee pad is actually an extra piece like that. This one you can see a little bit of a line. Oh, and there is like a something on the side there. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to keep it like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add that part of the foot over. Add a little bit of tread just so we can see that there is something underneath. But you can't see it because you're looking down. And, and there we go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So, ooh, wait, hang on. Got to finish up this. I didn't see that. There we go. There we go. So now I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Deadpool. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.